Hello my beautiful fire signs, how are you? Wherever you are, however you are, I hope you're having a lovely Valentine's Day. I thought I'd do this special reading for the elements for Valentine's Day. I'm using the Journey of Love Oracle and the Art of Love Tarot for these. So let's see how we're going. This can be for singles, couples or anybody in between. So this is you and we want one for the other. Now this can be um, cross watches, the energies can flip and flop so go where you feel it fits and if it doesn't fit don't worry it wasn't meant for you. These are general readings, so they can't resonate with everyone. And there might be somebody else who has a reading just for you. So let's see how we go, my lovely fires. I like this. They're looking at each other. That's a good sign. And what's the situation with the relationship, please? Where are we with the relationship? I hope you're all okay with the Valentine's Day word. Some people aren't. Some people are okay being single and some people like being in a relationship. Some people don't agree with it and some people wish it was never invented. So, you know, however you sit with it, I hope this helps you because that's my intention. Now, here we go. There it is. I think we're having a bit of back and forth. I think this might be a bit, you know, up and down, round and round. If you look at the imagery in these cards, let's have a look. There's a lot of round and round, round and round, round and round energy going on. Um, a bit of opposing energy so uh, with fire and ice and yin yang it could be sometimes balanced because yin yang is balanced um, sometimes it could be with one of you it could be like a daydream uh Let's keep going. Let's have a look. Anyway, I'm sure you'll know if this is you. Let's have a look. So, I've got five of angels. So, some, now that came up in the water reading. So did that. And this is really interesting because the Queen of Hearts and the High Priestess are both based in intuition, very strongly in intuition. And it's right under the dream a little card. So one side, um, I'm just going to keep going. This relationship is going through some changes. It's breaking a cycle. If you look here, this is very similar to this. I think maybe we're looking at a different way of being. I'm just going to keep keep going. What's this? What's this withdrawal from? Nine of Pentacles, independent energy. I'm guessing this. Let's just keep going. Because what I've got so far, and I really don't like bringing... 
you know, I'm all about honesty and transparency and facing, facing the stuff in life that we don't really want to face when we really want to dream a little. Um, but unfortunately, this is what I'm seeing. So the clash between the two, I think energies is coming to a head. I think we've got someone who's balanced and more grounded and earthy and someone who's a bit more, um, well, a lot more intuitive and into um, spiritualism and higher level vibration. So quite often those two things will clash. The, the very grounded energy, which is um, pentacles, doesn't quite understand the spiritual energy that um, when people start to look to um, spiritual elevation or awakening. And so the passion um, and the, the cooling of that passion can be very like fire and ice. You know, you've got this, um, this inner flame and, and I, um, bear with me, I'm just thinking of um, couples where one person awakens and wants to grow and develop and, and look deeper and further. And then the other person can be resistant to that. And so it's like pouring a, a bucket of cold water on 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 your desires and your flame. And I think, sadly, this is what's happening here. Um, because this energy, the very balanced um, energy, is, um, is withdrawing and looking for a more independent way of progressing and seeking their own abundance. You've got the... The, the clash between the relationship um, being released. I mean, this is this is the death card in the tarot, which is release. It's the ending. It's it's the the transition, transformation into something completely different. And on this side, you've got the 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 spiritual dreamer, obviously with. A very emotional side and very strong in your um, intuition and feeling so what's the advice for this relationship what do they need to know what do they need to know what do they need to know this doesn't have to be too many um it doesn't have to be a, a breakup like this doesn't have to be horrible it doesn't have to be over you know a, a, an intervention or something um it doesn't have to be hurtful and spiteful it can be sad because you you're both going in completely separate directions but it it can also be accepting and, and acceptance is something we have to learn that we can't always have our dreams the way we want them. We have to um, use our awareness to discover what's really going on. The Empress is the mother. She's the creator. So from the advice here is is allow this allow this because you've got the mother is you've got death card here but over here the empress is the 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 bertha of new the new the 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 fresh start she creates beauty from what's left from all the lessons and everything and uses that to gestate um beautiful new 
beginnings. If you notice here, her third eye is, is um, highlighted and for this person, I feel that the, the message here is acceptance through loving the other person, but, but acknowledging that you're on two different paths. For this person, I think the same thing. You know, some, of, some people aren't ready to open themselves up and are quite happy in their stable 3D lives. And, and to, to put an end to this clash um, and to let it go, you, it, it's a release. It's a release of each other and then the ability to birth something new for you, you both. It can be beautiful. It can be, there's nothing stopping you from, um, from being independently loving, if that makes sense. I hope it helps. It's um, not the remote, most romantic reading, but it is very um, I think apt for many people going uh, through 2020. A lot of people are discovering that they're on a di completely different path and either they release each other or they merge to be on a path that works for both of them. In this case, the decision is yours, my love, as always, but I hope you see your own worth and the worth of the other person, even if it's not going to be together. I love you lots. Um, have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. I'm sending you a great big hug and some kisses for Valentine's Day. Love you lots. Bye.